Hello, I'm Jillian Jorgensen. I'm the Education Director for Book It Repertory Theatre. My name is Nora and I'm in sixth grade. My name is Ruchi and I'm in second grade. In today's lesson, we'll be using a scavenger hunt to make a story called Color Adventure. For this lesson, you'll need a lot of imagination and a few props. For this lesson, the props can be anything that you decide what it is, something from each color of the rainbow in your home. Just make sure it's yours or you get permission if it belongs to someone else, or it might make a big mess. You'll need a red object, an orange object, a yellow object, a green a object, object, a blue object, an indigo object, and a violet object, or a purple object. Oh yeah, it could be violet or purple. Something you can carry will probably work the best. Nora. Yeah. So for our story, we need an, one object from every color of the rainbow. Do you have some ideas about what you might look for? I have a question. <laughs> okay, what's your question? So you said it was a scavenger hunt, but if those are the materials you need, then you're not really finding them. Well, sort of. It, I mean, yes, you're right. It's a scavenger hunt in like a mom-teacher kind of way, where it's an object that is already in your house, but you have to go look for it, but you get to decide what it is on your way. Something red, orange, yellow, blue, green, indigo, and violet, or purple. So do you like think, oh, I know that I have a green hat, so I'll go find that? Yeah, yeah, that's a great way to look at it. What about you, Ruchi? What do you think you're gonna find? I'm not sure. No, oh, yeah, sometimes you just gotta start walking around and then somebody, something like red or green or yellow will just jump out and go, pick me, pick me, pick me. All right, we're gonna go find our seven objects. All right, we went all around our house and found seven objects. Even that was a story, just yeah. like, once upon a time we wandered around the house and found seven objects, the end. But it's not the end, because of course there are more stories we can tell. We have a red necklace, an orange candle, a yellow little rubber chicken, a green shaky egg, blue tape, indigo scrunchy, scrunchy. and purple octopus. Dennis, with a hat. With a hat. And ice cream. Okay, great. And teeth. Okay, cool. Hey, Nora, um, which one yeah. of these objects is saying, pick me, pick me? Um... I like this candle. Okay, great. So now Nora could tell the real story of that candle. Nora, what's in one sentence? You'll be able to use a longer story later, but for an example, we're just doing one sentence. What's the one sentence true story of that candle? This is a candle I made at science camp when I was in second grade. Thank you. All right. But what if we tell the imaginary story of that candle? <gasps> Ruchi, okay. Here we go. This candle was made by the waxy fire from the mouth of a special kind of fish. Oh. A, it's a literal flying fish. So, like, there are such things as flying fish, but it's a fire breathing feathered winged fish. Oh my goodness. I love it. And it Nora breathes fire and this made that and somehow Nora found it. Thank you, Ruchi. Nora, what's another imaginary thing that could be true about this candle? It could be made it could be like made when the plague was actually happening. Like it could be a real, Oh like in the Middle yeah. Ages? Oh, so it could be like an artifact that maybe this is something that is real from very long time ago. Thank you, Orange them. Candle. Okay, let's see, let's see. Ruchi, will you pick one of these objects for the real story? What one is calling to you, saying, pick me, pick me. Rubber chicken. <laughs> rubber chicken. Ruchi, do you know the real story of that rubber chicken? Mom likes rubber chicken, so she bought it. That is true. <laughs> I like rubber chickens, and so I bought it. What is an imagination story with this? Uh, let me tell, and look right into our friends at home and let them know. It, um, it... Uh, it was made by a special kind of water that comes from underground Christmas bells. 
Oh, thank I d- you. I just put random things together. Nora, what's an yes. imagination story for this yellow object? Maybe this was a real chicken that got... It was like an experiment for a shrinking <laughs> potion. Oh. And then it shrank and uh, died. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you, little chicken. Thank you, little chicken. Hmm. What's another... <gasps> Should we do one more? Ruchi, choose. I choose for you. Okay. This is my favorite teaching supply, blue tape. Real story, I bought this at the hardware store. <laughs> Nora, imagination story about the blue tape. Um, it is the only possible tape that can be used to tie up the lethal dragon that lives in a cave. Dragon in a cave. Ruchi, the imagination story of the blue tape. Uh, it's... Not blue, but it's an illusion. <laughs> it's actually pink, oh. but our eyes don't work that way, so we see it blue. And this writing Thank on you. it is not green. We see it's green, oh but goodness. it's actually brown. Thank you. I can tell Ruchi has so much more to tell about this story. Ooh. Thank you. I'm feeling this now, and it's very sticky which is giving me the story idea of a time we walked into a cave and our feet got stuck. Oh my goodness, Nora, what should we do next with these stories? Would you like to act it out, draw it, or write it? I think these stories would be good written down. Oh, a writing down story? Okay. Maybe a graphic novel? Ooh, a graphic novel. Thank you. Ruchi, what would you want to do? Would you want to act it out, write it down, or draw it? I would want to draw it using blue tape as a special effect. Oh, oh, like the blue tape is an actual material on yes. the paper? Yeah. Cool. I think I would actually want to act this one out because I want to know how the blue tape would feel on the bottom of my feet. What would you do? Find those seven color objects in your own house and start making up your own story. Everything in our home has a story. On their own, they might not always be interesting stories, but together, if we add some details, we can turn an ordinary thing into something magical. Today's story I made with my children, Nora and Ruchi. You can do this story with your family, your siblings, your friends, or even all by yourself. Thank you for joining us today for Color Adventure. Happy creating! Mm -hmm.